a chit chat, get ready with me, life update situation, okay? Now, here's the tea. I know I've been in my head for a while, quite a while actually. I think I haven't posted, I think in two weeks or something. The last video I posted was quite a far, like, I don't remember when it was, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. The last video I posted was two weeks ago. Now, a lot has happened, and I'm going to tell you as I get ready because I have class today. Um, today is Thursday, and it's 9.35 in the morning. Um, I want to finish getting ready and do this. Oops, let me just close this because my hair looks terrible. Um, I kind of went there. Finish getting ready and doing this video at around 9 or 45 in the next 10 minutes. Because I work up late, as usual. Not really late, but not on time either. Like, I woke up at 9 because I just did not feel like doing that thing. And basically, yeah, I woke up at 9. And all I've done is just take a shower, a quick shower, you know, because it's morning and we got some morning, you always just do a little, um, you know, a quick shower. So what I want to do is my makeup, and I do very minimal makeup for school, actually. Just something to make me look like I'm put together, even if I might not be put together. And anyway, guys, like I'm saying, I've been in my hair for a while, I know, okay? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what has been happening so far. So, so guys, the last time I talked to you, I was telling you all about, it was a Sunday reset, and we were resetting to start my new school, my first week and everything, and it was right after orientation, so I was kind of like very, very, very um, tired. It was a, fatigued, a very fatigued week so i started my school quite easily actually um the transition was okay like there's really no difficulties it was so easy to find my classes um you just need to know the school go to the right school and then i just got directions from um the security guards and it was it was quite nice actually um at the end of orientation like you know i made friends and everything you know it's quite easy to make friends i just don't like talking to people but it's quite easy <laughs> to make friends because i decided you know like i need a new group of people like a new group of friends because you're to new school you really can't go to school alone you need someone to <laughs> finish the stress of school with so yeah first week went out okay but the end of first week of school here comes trouble and when trouble is not the school it's just me personally um i got a cold I think my dialysis, my dialysis, my conclusion as to why I randomly got the cold is because I've been dumbed for like six months. I haven't had school for like six months, so not every day was a busy day. Sometimes I have a busy day, the next day is quite not busy, or I just have one busy day of the week. I had quite a slow life basically, um, but, but. The two, the first two weeks were quite hectic because the 5 a.m. wake up call for a whole week after I have been sleeping for so long. And then the first week of school was also kind of, kind of tedious because you know, I have classes every single day except Friday and Sunday. But the Saturday one is almost over because you know, I explained to you guys in my last video. So I got a cold not very appreciating and it's still there actually <clears throat> if you can hear but it's not like as bad as when it started my cold was my for for i don't know a nozzle cold if i'm gonna call it that because i didn't have a sore throat except like the first day but i had like other symptoms general weakness and whatever and i was quite like on Saturday of after the first week of school on Saturday, that was like two weeks ago, where I think a week ago, um, I had what I'm gonna say a very tough night because I was quite ill. But to conquer this, I basically just took um, a very strong powder. I don't remember its name, but always a hundred, not a hundred, but a thousand mg. I took it before bed. 
and it kind of cured me quite quickly the general weaknesses and everything so i just remained battling um just you know the regular nose or cold and now it's quite it's going okay it's just eradicating out of my body slowly and slowly now it's not really an effect I just sometimes I get a runny nose, sometimes I have a blockage and stuff, but that's okay. That is quite easy to manage, it doesn't really distract me from doing anything. So that's basically really a major thing that happened. Um, the other thing that really made me not post, because I think the point is I haven't been posting, is adjustment. Like, I haven't really adjusted, you know? Like, there's a lot that comes in with a new schedule, a new way of doing stuff. I mean, you know, I just have a brand new schedule. So fatigue played a huge part in me not wanting to film anything because I did I did not have my shit straight. Like I did not have my stuff organized to the point that okay, so even if I make content, like what time am I editing this stuff that content, what time am I posting that content and stuff. So I kinda have to um find a way to kind of you know, balance everything, my school, my YouTube and everything. Um, so I just decided, you know what, I'ma take I'ma take the time off, I'ma take the time off and think and see how are we going to do this because people do it all the time. Like I watch a lot of college kids, even with like, you know, dental students and like engineers and stuff, they still manage to do videos. So it's not like being a student, you really can't do videos, so I need to up my game, but it's okay, I've been thinking, I've been deciding, and I'm not changing my schedule, I'm still going to be posting every Tuesday and Friday, I know I told you guys at some point that I'm going to change, I think I didn't, even put, I didn't even put that video out, but I've been trying to get plants in, but it doesn't really work that way. It was taking like forever, like I, I was just, I was not like consistent with the content so I just never posted it but now we are back in the groove I believe and now we can get it um going we can get it started and I am excited for this new adventure because now we could vlogs I'm gonna be like college diaries okay you guys we're gonna do this degree together <laughs> we're gonna do my film degree together also I realize I actually do like film See, the thing is, I thought I'm taking it because I made filming a hobby, but technically speaking, I do like everything, you know? Um, and now I'm discovering that maybe my role in film is just <coughs> directing. Because <coughs> um, I'm this... <coughs> Damn, you see what I'm talking about? I'm in the cinematography class. And the lecturer, he's quite a new lecturer actually with dreadlocks and everything I'm like perfect perfect film teacher this is not such a serious course it's supposed to be a fun course not like I'm doing biochemical whatever it's not like I'm in the school of pharmacy and science school of communication anywho what was I saying right um the cinematography class I realized that I am not a cinematographer <laughs> cinematographers basically are like camera geniuses and they need to know like camera work and like Shit, I just like yelling at you. I basically relate more to the actors than the um, cinematics of film, basically. So for me, I mean, I knew like producer director probably my thing, but of course the producer is just a rich person who can sponsor a film. And they're gonna call call the producer, but director, I that was that's like the perfect career way for me because. Yeah, I do. I do relate to actors. Even when I watch a film with anybody and I complain, I'm not really complaining about the cinematics because okay, some I, I can I can um I can what's the word I'm looking for? I can appreciate a good cinematic effect, but I am always more critical of actors. Like I can sense that you did a good job here and you needed to do better here and everything. So, but when it comes to cinemat cinematics, I'm like. Well, okay, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do it, but if you ask me, I can really not fix it. I just really don't know the better way to do it. <laughs> so for me, like, director is probably, like, my career choice. But of course, the director, you need to know a little bit of everything, including 
pre-production and post-production well pre-production is probably your thing casting and everything but i um, need to know you know a little bit of editing a little bit of cinematography you know to make um the film come together but yeah <clears throat> yeah that is it for the next three and a half years i am going to be filming with you guys the life of a film major <laughs> And we are gonna go to this journey. This is like, this is like we're starting fresh, you know, a new phase of my life. Um, a new phase. Okay, constantly, constantly, <clears throat> you'll hear me say that I hate school and everything, but that's just when I have assignments. <clears throat> Some are suck, because I have to do general ad classes as well. And some of them I might not be that interested in, but I have to pass my grade. So if you hear me complaining, I'm probably complaining about the general ed classes. Not all, but some. Like this semester I have math, which is not too bad actually. It's quite simple math. But still, you know, I do have to complain and be normal. So, yeah, basically that's what has been going on and I would say that I am excited for this new chapter and everything and I'm gonna try so much like I need to <coughs> I need to get my shit together so that I can be able to drop content twice a week like usual um, a weekly vlog and another video because I really want to get into weekly vlogs again given that right now I do have you know college diaries gonna be like campus diaries or college diaries or whatever uni diaries something 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 and i am so excited because this is the journey like if i don't this is basically the reality of my life right now for the next two and a half years my life is going to be filled up with school basically they really know how to put it it's going to be filled up with school anyway let me finish putting all this in sample and then we're going to conclude this video like i was saying Finally got dressed, finished getting dressed. Here's the tea, okay, I didn't even know what I'm gonna wear today. And also I didn't care what I'm gonna wear today, so I just picked out the simplest outfits I can find. I just have jeans and this tank top, and that is it. That is it. I, just, I am not in the mood for like a lot of effort. I still look like I've been doing some effort though. Even though I don't really have the energy also you guys yes it was my birthday and what i did for my birthday was different from anything i've ever done basically i just sat home and slept <laughs> i slept like the whole day. okay mine is the time when i left to go shopping i was just in bed um who child i'm trying to put my hand i was in bed binge watching all my favorite shows not really all but I was binge watching um, The Big Bang Theory for like the 30th time, the 30th time. And for me, it was just the best thing. I think I'm, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> what am I saying? I think I was just too tired to do anything plus my cold and everything. I've been busy. It's been a long time since I've been this busy. My best friend called me and she's like, when, what are we doing for your birthday? And I was like, I don't know. I just want to chill, okay? I just want to chill because, you know, I just, I'm in the middle of a cold and I'm tired and fatigued. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. So I'm 23 now. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Involuntarily. But it's okay. We have to age at some point in our lives, I guess. <laughs> it sounds sad, but it's not really sad. Like, Sometimes it's good to age, you know. Like I noticed that how I said it was also like a reflecting day. I was reflecting on how much shit has changed since I was like I know since the first time I turned like you know, since I turned 18. I don't hang out with the same people, I don't hang out in the same places, I don't drink the same things, I don't eat the same things. Basically things are different now. And I think it's good. Different will always be good, always be better. For me, that's all I have to say. It's always, it's always gonna be better. It's always, it's always better to change. Like I hate those people who are so 
deep-rooted in their ways that they just don't think it's okay to change but for me if you don't think it's okay to change then you have a problem because everybody needs to change anywho anywho i hope you guys um follow through i'm a rambler and you know, well no i'm a rambler not like it's your first time here but if it is your first time here hello welcome my name is akuna <laughs> I am a film major, first year, first semester, and this is my second degree. My other degree was in film, no film, was in journalism and mass communication. So basically, I'm carrying the media all by myself. <laughs> basically, the future of media in Kenya is laying on my shoulders because of them both, <laughs> but it's okay. So yeah, that was a little introduction at the end. I don't know why I did that at the end, but regardless, that is all I had for you today because I am running late. It is 9.58. I need to go get my breakfast and leave the house at 10.15 at the latest. 10.20 is very, very late because I need to go fill up my gas and stuff before I get to school and everything, but it's okay. There's not going to be any traffic, so 20 minutes stopped and I'm going to be in school. But besides the point... That is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to be very consistent in posting my content, so don't you worry. I just needed a that little break, and I took that little break, and now we're back better than ever. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out any of my new videos. And with that, you guys, I am going to see you. I'm definitely going to see you in the next video. Bye bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up.